Praxis, and today I'm on site uh, just kind of doing some odds and ends and getting ready to sort of change gears and do some, some new things that I haven't, haven't really touched in a while. One of them in particular is these uh, ceiling joists. Uh, if you guys remember, I, I got a bunch of them stained. There are five left that are unstained here. I kind of stopped when I was having trouble with those like weird swirling patterns over there. I was a little frustrated by that, so I just kind of shift gears. Uh, shifted gears, went to some other things, uh, but now getting to the point where I really should finish those things up before I start getting the kitchen together down here. Uh, we received all of the kitchen cabinets. They came a month earlier than we were told that they were going to. I'm happy that they're here because, you know, they're here when I was told they were going to come a month from now. I was almost kind of thinking, it's like, well, like, yeah, maybe they will, maybe they won't. So I am glad that they're here, um, though I haven't opened them up yet. I hope they're my kitchen cabinets. Um, but uh, the downside is that I had kind of anticipated that I was going to be able to continue to work in this area without all these boxes, and now I just got more stuff. Uh, had I known that they were going to show up, I, you know, I think I would have stained this stuff before they, they showed up, just so it would be easier to work. But uh, I didn't know, I didn't do it, and you know, here I am. So uh, what I've been doing today is putting in these little nailer boards. Uh, you see these little open uh, bays uh, at the top here. I, I do want boards to go all the way up to cover that up. The other side of this wall is going to be the pantry. That's going to be allowed to be cooler. Uh, there's going to be insulation on the other side of this wall, so it's actually an insulated space within the house. Uh, and uh, you know, I, I want to have the walls go all the way up. So we just have, this is the warm area, that's the cool area. And I'm using entirely scrap to do it. These are uh, bits of the floorboard here. The, all these floorboards uh, had like just about two feet of scrap at the end of each one and I'm using these nine and one eighth inch uh, chunks to uh, make nailers that are going to go right up in here. I need that so that when the boards go up they have something to to nail to when they get up in there. Also uh, scrap are the nails that are going into them. These are, I think these are either 12 or 16 D nails. They're from my giant bucket of random nails that I forget where I got it from but they're all kind of banged bent up and everything. I've been using those uh, to you know, get these guys in. I think it's just great whenever you can kind of you know, jump into things like that, use those things up. I just finished the trench over there with the foam and everything. Uh, I was able to do it like 80% with just scrap foam. I did have to cut a little bit of fresh foam to just finish it up. But it's always a great feeling just take something that was going to be trash and use it into, uh, turn it into something useful uh, that uh, you know, is going to serve a purpose and it, you know, it doesn't just fill up a land, uh, landfill somewhere. So that's what I'm doing, just kind of getting these guys ready and maybe start staining. I think I might just put some boards on top of these boxes and walk right on top of the boxes. I think that'll be fine. But uh, yeah, I gotta get this area ready. And then the next big push is once I can work together with my dad, because he knows a lot about that, this kind of stuff, get electrical going. Because electrical is kind of the thing that's holding a lot of stuff up. So that's where I am. Today's just kind of another transition day. Trying to make use of the time, uh, but uh, just really odds and ends at this point. That's it. Thanks for watching.